Travis today. I'm actually launching out a pace bend on the uh, north end of the lake, which I fish fairly often, but not nearly as much as the lower end. But today's video is gonna be a little bit different than my normal video. Um, I'm waiting on my buddy Wyatt now. He's gonna join me this morning, but you know, we're gonna do a little bass fishing early, but we're going after something a little bit different later than that. Notice I got a bait cooler here. I usually don't bring live bait, but today we're gonna try and catch a mess of saccolate. So we'll see how that goes. I don't do much crappie fishing out here. Um, so before anybody sends me a message asking about guiding a crappie trip, probably not gonna be doing that anytime in the near future. I love fishing for bass, but you know, good conditions today. I already come out and do something a little bit different since I had the day off. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can catch some crappie out here on Lake Travis. I'm a little guy on the tiny crappie jig, little Kai Tech. Which using little crappie jigs, little Kitex with a minnow tipped on it for when they get finicky. Oh, that one hit it good. Oh, <laughs> he bumped his head. Nice suckle it. Not that time. Smaller. I'm telling you, would you put on a littler jig? I want to see you catch some. <laughs> well, there's something big down there now. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Got him? There you go. There you go, nice one. I think the other side will be better. They look like they're... Got <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got him over one. <laughs> well, that was the wrong species. <laughs> Damn, there's a bunch. All of fishing that you got to do. And I mean, so many people wouldn't be able to. Ooh, there we go. I got that way up in there. there. Yeah, I got it all the way in the back. That deserves a fish. I don't see him coming up to it. Mm -hmm. That minnow's right in that fish's face. Really big, like one of them was about six and a half feet tall. Damn, really? 
So basically what we're doing is looking at these docks using sight imaging. Oh, shit, I just had a bite. And uh, using the pan optics to get up on these docks and find the schools of crappie. And this is what you want to see. You see that staircase down there? That's what that is. Those are all crappie mixed up in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice. So there all we're using is just a jig head and then we tip it with a little live minnow. Bite's been a little slower so that seems to be working pretty well. Big old black stripe on it. Oh, you're about to get one. Yeah. <laughs> Probably don't see bait very often where they are. Oh, no. oh, I lied. Got him out of there. I think he's in the brush. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, ho, ho. that's a black. Big black. Or maybe that's a big black. Look how black. I got him hooked. What the hell? <laughs> he's skinny. So I'll explain real briefly what we're doing to try and find these crappie. But basically, we're looking for deeper shorelines with docks on them. You know, they like to live under the docks here on Travis. So there's just not as many brush piles. But the docks, they have these staircases. Kind of like you can see up there. They seem to like those. So what I'm doing is I'm using my side imaging. And as you can see, I'm only shooting on the right side of the boat. You know that guy? So anyways, we're shooting on the right side of the boat and like, there we go, that's some fish. You can see that staircase right there. You can see the fronts of the dock and then those little dots, that's what you're looking for. When you find those, that's what we're getting up there trying to get our crappie jigs and minnows down to. So keep pay attention to the depth they're at, but also, you know, are they on shallow banks or are they on deep banks? And today, deep banks seem to be the best. Holy smokes, that's that a thing. big crappie. That might be my PB crappie, I don't know. At least in a public lake. Oh, Let me uh, grab my scale out of here. What is the lake record crappie, any idea? Probably like two pounds. I don't know if it's two, but it's a slab. When they can head shake and you almost drop them. 1.4. He's still a fish. <laughs> Four and a half pound. Yeah, 1.4. Got him. Got him. Good one. Yeah. A keeper. Deal. Just a quick hook set. I feel like they're biting it and spitting it out. Definitely biting it and spitting it out. Like I'm just the moment I feel a tap, I just set it. There you go. <laughs> You're gonna fall out. Let me get you back in. You get him. What do you got on there? Oh, a big white bass. I scoped that 
about to say, you got some crazies going on down there. So here we're just getting way up inside these docks, finding them on the live scope, dropping the jigs right into the middle of them. Seems if you keep it just above the school, they like that a little better. All right, Wyatt and I have been out here tearing them up. We got a bunch of them, so we're gonna count them. Never wanna go over your limit. So Wyatt and I just got done on Lake Travis Day crappie fishing and honestly I don't crappie fish very often. It's something I always say I'm going to do and never actually do it because I love to bass fish. Um, so if you're watching this video, you know, this is kind of some instructions on how to catch crappie on Lake Travis. By no means do I claim to be a crappie guide. There are guides who are much, much better at me and know a heck of a lot more about crappie. So this is just kind of what I do, what works for me. But one of the reasons I don't guide for crappie on Lake Travis, they're just a pain in the butt to get to. Because I find them all the time, but they live under docks and they go way back underneath those docks where it's very difficult to get to. Um, so at times you can make accurate casts, skip up underneath boats, under docks, you can get them that way. So there were really two things we were using today and that's crappie jigs. And what I was going with is just a very small crappie jig head. This is a 16th ounce. Um, and then a couple different baits here. This one, this color here, uh, this was the best. We're using this one as well, but they're basically just little tiny minnow imitation. Um, I don't know that much about different brands and stuff like that for crappie jig. They all look the same to me. They're just different bright colors. And then these little Kitex, these were working pretty good as well. So we basically drop those, skip those, get those up as far as we could underneath those docks. And then the other thing was just using the same jig head here, but we would just get a minnow. We were using small live minnows, um, putting it through their nose and then dropping it down to those schools. For us, panoptics was key. Um, almost every single fish today I saw eat it on the panoptics. So that's pretty cool. Uh, use your side imaging, look underneath those docks and uh, you'll find those crappie. They'll show up as just small little specks. And then from there, pick it apart with your panoptics. Um, as far as rods, we're using a Dobbin 703 SF, um, just a, a medium spinning rod, but honestly, you can use anything for this. Dobbins actually makes some really nice crappie rods. Um, I just don't have any of them. And then 10 pound braid and a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. But again, I don't think you really got to get too carried away with it. They'll uh, eat it as long as you put it in their face. So thanks for watching this, guys. Um, if you're interested in crappie fishing or have questions about it, feel free to message me. But again, I don't really guide for that. But if you want to fish for bass, hit me up. I'm your guy. Thanks for watching.